32 gang what's good it's your boy cj on 32s and i'm back with another video man and today we is actually out car shopping we car shopping for taxes now i got a pretty idea of the two cars that i want i actually already got rims being made for one of the two vehicles i'm gonna try to make it to both locations to show y'all both cars but my mind is like 90 percent set on the convertible you know, it's just something about it. It's something about the whole setup. It's something about the black on the top. You know, I hate that you can't see the motor on the convertible, but I love the coals that you can see, you know what I'm saying, to give it that uh, supercar look. So yeah, we're gonna be on a journey today. You know, I'm out, I'm riding, I'm solo, dolo, trying to get some shit done. Um, just trying to get back to it, man. Trying to get back on my grind, trying to keep myself motivated. You know, I try to get up and get out make something happen make something shake every day which i pretty much do you know tired and all even when i don't want to uh, i just feel like i just gotta get out here and i just gotta do it if i sit at home and take a day off i feel like it was a not a productive day and uh i could have been out doing something getting some shit done so we're gonna go to this ford dealership and then we're gonna go to perillo because they also got one they got the rapid blue now i got two sets of wheels coming i got a set from corleone and a set from forgiato uh, moto me 10 days on the wheels and then it take like four or five business days to get the other wheels shipped then uh what else uh, i should be picking up the years that should be coming back this week and man you know i was in lambo i was in the hurricane earlier dropped that boy off and jumped into mclaren man you know, i gotta take the lambo to the dealership saying low cooling so service needed so i ain't gonna drive and i ain't gonna risk driving it right now just parked it but y'all see what we in man big boy mclaren 720s living that lifestyle little carbon fiber right there around the radio little carbon fiber right here around the steering wheel won't hurt nobody i can tear every damn wear in the car orange seat belts you know next up to hit the paint shop well you know i still got some cars i gotta get done man my biz been gone for damn near three months now you know i need that back um my track hawk you know i'm ready to give it the new look we got the new wheels so i gotta wait on that so whenever pc finish them two then i'm gonna take this and get it painted and i hope it's not too deep or too late in the summer because you know i really want to drive my shit i don't like being down long gang like man i can't afford another two or three months out the game you know what i'm saying i need to have my cars this is my content this is what i do and i want to really like get out this year drive and enjoy my shit so you know hopefully everything come together i know pc packed over there with everything he got going on you know and i'm understanding i'm understanding to a lot of shit to the point but you know that's my guy and um i just gotta respect what he got going on period you know um Everything else is pretty much out of my control. What I got control of, guys, it's gonna get done. Oh shit, hopefully I'm going the right way while I'm talking to y'all. Yeah, man. If you're new to the channel, I drop videos every day. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, click that notification bell to join the 32 gang. Y'all already know, man, the only way the motherfucking gang going is up. made it up here to Huntley Ford to check out the C8 convertible you know like I told y'all before the car that I want to buy to take to Dallas it's standing up pretty good next to that McLaren but they falling like 200,000 short but this is a good car that's comfortable to have I love the blue the rapid blue on here this one also got the metallic stripes I love the rapid blue man super nice you got the black running up here. You got the stripes running to the back. You got the black on the side. You got the black coves to match. I love this. This is the only thing I like on the convertible. And then you got your racing stripes going to the back. You got the black spoiler. Racing stripes running down. The exhaust. What's really catch me on this one is I love the interior, man. I super love the spec on this vehicle. You got your blue seats, you got your dark blue blue seats, and you got your carbon fiber in the back. Man, somebody been driving this. Who been partying in this? You got your blue suede all the way around. You hear me? 
Who been partying in this? You will be. <laughs> man, I'm trying, man. We, we, we got to get the number right, man. We got to get the number close. right. Uh, trust me, I wouldn't let you walk out of here if it wasn't the final number. You know that. I'm trying to get the number right, man. I like this one, gang. What y'all think, man? I, I drove a long way to come see this car. The price has changed a lot, man. I like the rapid blue. It's definitely a nice color. Definitely a nice look. Can you put the top up one time for us? I'm not sure how to do it. Uh, let's see. Let me get, let me get my bag. There's something about this blue. Seas. This will look so good down there in Dallas, man. And it got the low wing on the rear. You have to get the ground effects kit again. Supposed to have been looking at another one. By the time we make it, I don't think we're going to make it to see the one from Lambo Plug today. I'm really liking this one. This boy is so hard. What's your name, man? You new on the job. Yes, sir. Justin, I'm trying to plug you. I'm almost at 700,000 subscribers, so I'm going to plug you. Where you located at, Justin? Uh, Marengo. Marengo? It's a small little town in Illinois, yeah. Uh, okay, so where you working at? Right here in Huntley Ford. Huntley Ford, man. Huntley Ford, where the prices go up. <laughs> they don't come down. <laughs> what do you think about the McLaren, my boy? Uh, that's one of the cleanest cars I've ever seen. You like the McLarens? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. Fun car, this one super fast, super modded. What do you think about the C8 though? Like this rapid blue? I like, I like the blue one. I'm trying to give you your first sale, man. What's up with your manager, <laughs> man? Man, that shit crazy. Y'all gonna have to get the 32 gang on them. They done marked this boy up an extra 20,000 by the time I got here. Jeez. They put them stripes on here or they is they painted on or stickers or you don't know uh i think those are painted painted on. they definitely probably these are, is these are painted on because you can see they got the they gloss matching on. it yep yeah. they match the um oh no i felt it i don't know they might be I, I feel it lift up i'm not sure i think it's the uh so it's painted but i think it's the material the materialized paint oh uh, so they can't take it off right they would be able to, but what they would have to do is probably buff. buff. Oh, yeah. Damn. No, sir. Man, I like this, man. This one for calling my name. You think I should get it? Give you your first I, sale. If I had the money, I would get it. Man, the money ain't the problem. You always got a will and deal, man, when you buy in a car. It's all about I the buy hustle. cars all the time, so it's like, you know, you got a will and deal. I just like the spec. They picked a the good-ass spec. I know this is a Ford dealership, so y'all really don't know about the shabby thing over here. <laughs> trying, trying to help out. Probably turn it on and lift it. Don't do anything. It's a button in there. For us to Hold pull the it up. This thing perfect for Dallas, though. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I like this one better than Lambo plugs, now, man. It's just like, geez. Now they went up, up on the price, though. Only thing I don't like with this blue is nasty with them seats the interior the whole all around setup with some matching forges <sighs> gonna be ugly kill i can see myself floating through dallas in this i don't think i'm gonna let this one go i don't know yet man we we gotta talk some more numbers Man, we gotta work. I we got a deal if you could get them back to that first number you told me. If you finance, I'll consider it. I don't want to finance. 
Tell them, give me back to the first number and I'll cash you out. I'm all in at 122, actually. I really am. I wouldn't tell you any otherwise. Man. He's already told me if, the, if he wants to think about it, let me go. And my managers do not let customers go unless they can do it. You know. It's cool. All right, guys, man, we still ain't worked out a deal on this one yet. I'm trying to work with them, but, you know, it's tough. So we're going to see what happened. Man, guys, man, like, duh, man, that's why I try to just, you know, actually just keep my business at one place. I actually tried to have Matt um, get the vehicle for me because I already knew what time it was, bro. And it's like, why the fuck do they do that shit, bro? Car Mart, the listed price, you know you got sales, you got titles. License, tax, title, doc fee, all that bullshit. And you know, your, your taxes. So, the car shouldn't have been no more. When I came in, when I asked them, I called them twice. The car shouldn't have been no more than like 114, at the most 115. So, now I get up here, this dude walks out with fucking a paper talking about one, like 130 something. He added all this extra shit. And I'm like, bro, I don't need none of this shit. Just give me the price with tax, title, license, doc fees, and all that shit. So then he takes it back to his manager. And his manager come back out. Oh, if, if you finance it, if you finance and we'll do 119K. I'm like, no, I don't want to fucking finance. So he said, instead, if I don't finance and pay cash, then it'll be 122. Like, how do you get from 105 to 122, man? The shit these dealerships is pulling with these cars and shit right now is out fucking rages, and something should be done about it. Like, I hate that I gotta deal with certain type of dealerships and spend my money with certain type of dealerships, man, because that shit just, it's crazy, it ain't right. Like, okay, you got it listed as this, which is bullshit, they got it listed as that to finesse you to come there to look at the vehicle to try to finesse you into the car like adding all this monitor and fucking tracking device and all this extra shit man i don't need none of that shit somebody take my try to take my car only three things gonna happen one i'm gonna kill them two i'm gonna beat they ass three they gonna steal it and i'm gonna get paid from insurance i'm not getting i don't need all this extra five thousand dollar shit that costs two hundred dollars bro like these dealerships crazy bro then they like you know what i'm saying they you come up there you look at a car they really don't want to explain the shit to you you know like shit nigga i can buy any car y'all got on that lot then they just man bro like motherfuckers staring at you like bro i'm gonna be beat no matter where i go but i just hate having to spend my money certain places bro certain dealerships they don't talk about the car they try to sit how the fuck you gonna sell me a car and not explain even though i already know but not even try to explain the car man like bro these fucking dealerships are straight crooks they try to rob you and they gonna do it if you get away from it they want you to finance so they can make more money and get away by robbing that way but a lot of them not used to a smart nigga like me that know the ins and outs of this car shit like i know the market is messed up but i know how much a car costs and how much a car worth and sometimes man you know no matter how bad you want something you gotta fucking walk away with your pride and your pride and put that shit in your you know what i'm saying you gotta walk away with your pride guys you can't accept anything like shit crazy i called there twice twice none of that shit the girl told me bring a check for 105 and just pay the taxes titles uh, i did my math i'm seven percent then i get there what make it worse is how the fuck you gonna go from 105 to 122 if i'm doing a cash deal like man make me not even wanna buy this shit like deal with these people so i'm just gonna go over here look at the one lambo plug them guy i mean it ain't a convertible i love the specs on that one but the one they got got nice specs too i would take some of that blue off because i feel it's too much i would have to add some of the black but kind of just rather stick with people you know what i'm saying people i like dealing with that's gonna help me i can fucking drive the car they didn't even ask me if i want to drive the car like it was it's just bad business i understand why they got three fucking stars there like unhelpful as fuck don't want to sign a deal now, i'll be wrong if i send the 32 gang on their ass but man you know what bro it's like man bro these places is crazy guys and i'm not ratting on like i'm serious like if you me anybody they don't got shit to do with race like these car places just right now is getting fucking ridiculous you know i ain't trying to pull no race car to say because i'm black but i ain't dumb like i'm a 
I might be black, but I ain't dumb. I know how to count money and, and figures and shit in my head, so can't nobody get over on me on that. But it's like, man, bro, like, fucking whole day, like it's fucking 80 degrees out. I wanted to come, pay for the car, go about my day. Shit could have been smooth, so now I gotta go over here, go over here, and still figure this shit out, man. And I told y'all I wanted to get the burp. I did the coupe already. I don't want to be getting in and out, taking off no fucking top, on and off when I'm in Texas. It get hot as hell down there. I want to be able to push the button and let it up or down. I just really like the spec on there, you know. Maybe I'm over exaggerating, but shit, I know them prices though. It's ridiculous. I ain't over exaggerating on that. But, you know, when somebody come buy a car, you gotta be professional. You, know? you gotta help the customer. You gotta let them, you know, let them know. They ain't even really know shit about the car. They just know it's a C8. Two guys had one guy had to come out, let the top down. We make it so bad. I'm like, uh, leave the car here. Like, I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna vlog the car. This motherfucker asked the other dude, "Is it okay?" Like, what the fuck he thought I was gonna do? I got a 300, 300k fucking McLaren sitting right next to the car, like I came to steal it or some shit. Nigga, I got on fucking 300 thousand in jewelry. Like, man, I just don't be understanding these car dealers. Bro, I just wasted an hour and a half fucking driving up here so yeah i'm pissed but anyway gang that's enough of that we're gonna head over here we're gonna see what my boy lambo plug and dan can hook me up with over here and if they hook me up with a good price i'm just gonna buy the shit from the people i've been buying cars from i ain't gotta come back to uh huntley ford or none of that shit they just missed out on a good deal and a good opportunity you know what i'm saying that's all i can say you know i feel bad for the person that go get robbed i don't give a fuck how messed up the market is it's just, it's just ridiculous, man. What the hell they got in there? Another orange one? Man, they don't want they got another one of the same ones up in this joint. I see it. Oh, it is a vert. They probably got music playing in there. Ooh, they got an STO back there. Ooh, yeah, that's been in here. I thought oh. they sold that. Oh, did they? Yeah. What that STO still doing in there? I thought they sold it. It's sold, yeah, it's been sold. Y'all see y'all got a vert now, orange. Yeah. That boy nice. Your car just got sold too. The red one? The purple one's gone too. Damn. Damn. They you moving the units. Poop like this though. 19. That poop green, poop green. Still some ugly ass wheels on there. I see you. I gotta find the keys to the Corvette. Nobody has it. That coupe right there. Oh, you got a 2020. Green coupe. That's an Evo. Yeah, it's an Evo. Yeah. Big Evo. In here. Oh, it's, it's locked. White and what? Black? Yeah. This thing got a crazy spec too. Yeah. Nice green. It's a hot color. What up, gang, man? We done made it here to Lamborghini down the road, man. Y'all just got this one? How many miles? How many miles? How many? How much? Man, bro, that shit's still on my bumper. Boy, I'm gonna try to have them clean that shit off. It should clean off, right? I'm gonna have to fire you. What? I'm gonna have y'all take it off when I come. Dancing today. These guys over here, lazy. You said Dan in there? I'm trying to look at the... I don't know who has the key, but... C8. Fire. They Big tried fire. to stick me at this other place. Man, I just went off, bro. Yeah, I don't take care of it. You don't. How much they want for this rose? That's all right, I'm zooming straight out to the back. They can copyright me all they want. Damn, fire. Yep, Yo, buddy, you definitely you? fire, what up? For this one? 236, 236. 236? That ain't bad. What year? 17? Oh, 16. All right, guys. Here go the other blue one. Right here. It's still convertible. I mean, yeah, but it's... I like the T-top better. The back one's kind of weird on the Yeah, but I like the way the... It got the colds up there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when the top come off. Like yeah, them nasty. That's what make it. I mean, though. I like that, but I like this. 
I like this because you can see the motor. That's what I'm saying. I like this. But man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That fucking rapid blue convertible nasty in the interior is dark blue and light blue. Nasty. It's kind of like Ferrari, though. Man, this ain't no Ferrari, though. We all know what this is, man. Uh, I need the keys, bro. I'm gonna look in there. I just went to fucking look for the keys and they're not there. Alright, you wanna get you wanna make a sale or you don't? Let me see. Where them where that black come at? Oh, it stopped because it do got the pillars. This part sink down more, so that's how they add that black. Well, yeah, it's to like the top. it's like two little posts. Yeah. So like the bottom's flat right by the motor and you really can't see. Well, let me see if I can grab the key. Yeah, because it's locked, gang. You know what I'm saying? It's between this one and that other one. If the price is right. Only if the price is right, man. I like this one, but I think I would have to add, like, some black trim to this one. I think this one deserves to be broken apart with the black. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's too much damn blue on this one. So it would have to go to PC to get that breakup in between everything, man. This one nice too. Ground effects kit. Something about that vert. Something about that extra money not sitting well with me. Hell with that. Oh, no, sir. Man. I don't know. What you think, bro? I'm gonna look in the inside. I still like the vert better. Yeah, the vert. Yeah. I don't like the racer stripes on the vert, but I like the. I like how it got the top half black, and you got them coals. I actually like them coals. Coals. Yeah, because it, comes cause it yeah. make you look like you're in a supercar. Yeah. This one nice too. I said I had to break it up though. Them side pillars that have to get painted black. I feel like it's too much blue. You know the side pillars right there? Oh, right here. Yeah, yep. I had to put them back black, back black just to break it up. Yeah. This is a 3LT too. Yeah, I see. 3LT. I gave Buddy the wrong top when I gave him my seat. I meant to give him the hard top and keep my clear top. Now I got the hard top. Oh, damn. Yep. Damn. They got a 63 GT Corvette. Porsche. Look at Stunner over here with the Versace on, man. Man, you know. He done been shopping when he out of town. Man, you know, a little something, something. They only want two something for that. For that Rolls race. race. Oh, for real? Yeah, that bitch nasty. 239. That bitch look brand new. It's clean as hell. Yeah, it is clean. It's a 16. Yeah, that boy nice. Oh man, bro, I gotta have this blue though. I want this blue so bad, that man. Rapid blue go crazy. Bro, the other one got this got this fucking that rapid blue interior with the Gold dark blue. blue. Yeah. Only thing I really don't care for on that one is, is how they got the stripes. But I think they painted on them. I'm not sure. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, most people just put them on with put the them decals, on. but yeah. Because it's an option for sure. So you can take them off? Yeah, yeah. You can okay, take them off. they might can take them off. I don't know. I just don't like the way they went up on the price, boy. Yeah. Skyjack tried that bullshit somewhere else. Damn, man. Yeah, I had, uh, I've been looking at track offs, and I had to do a 200 mile radius just to even find something, you know what I'm saying, that even was close to man, what I was looking at. I just drove like an hour and a half yeah. listening to this girl on the phone. All right, gang, man. We're going to try to get. Oh, never mind. Here we go, right here. Lambo plug with it. Lambo plug with it. Sorry. Open this motherfucker up, man. Yeah. Damn, y'all just got the windows tinted or something? Say so do not roll down. Yeah, they probably have them just tinted. Yeah. Super light ass tent, man. That's a waste of tent. It's factory tent. Yeah, factory tent suck. The windshield is uh, tinted to looking at it, yeah. This brown go good with this color too, though. Ooh, no cap. It do. It do. With the carbon bucket seats, you see that? Yeah, it's got the GT3 seats. Carbon. 
Yeah, the same seats I had in mine. It's a 3LT, yeah, you gonna get familiar, that. Familiar. Yeah. Same fucking everything, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Except the color. Well, the low wing you like? Nasty. Yep. What'd Rapid you say? Rapid blue is nasty. Oh, that's, yeah. that's, that's, that's a bad color. color. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely nasty. It's a popular color. It's bright too, it stand out. Yeah, it stand out. You put the white wheel on it? Yep. In the game. I don't know, gang, what y'all think, man. Should we just deal? Should we settle? Or should we not? Don't want to be getting out, taking the top, on and off. You know, Texas, hot as hell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get it with the buttons, but I feel like this just a sleep deck. Oh, the back definitely look better on here. I mean, you got your benefits from both. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, you got your, your glass and the body is up instead of going down to that slope. But I love the way them, when that top down on that bitch and you got them coves right there, it should look good. Well, either way, it's a win-win. Yeah. It's just the color combination. Both color combinations are win too. Shit, yeah, we just gotta get down to who gonna give me the best, the best deal. Oh, you know. How many miles on here? We like, just got it from Gold Coast, huh? Like 3,000? We're gonna see how many miles on this bad boy right here, guys. And we definitely gonna figure it out, man. Need something for taxes, and I ain't taking none of my Lambos down there. I need to ride in comfort. Yeah, go ahead. Let me hear that boy. Let me see you blow it up before I buy it. I think y'all got the lift up too. That motherfucker high in the front. How much? 32? Oh, no, no miles, guys. No miles on here. 30, 21 or 20? 20 or 21? 20. Yeah. 20. Alright, guys, man. We're going to go in here and chop it up with a Lambo plug. See what we can come up with. See how Dan trying to rob me. And uh, I'll let y'all know what's going on, man. It's been a long day. I ain't do none of the shit I supposed to did. Today. What are you talking about? You wore the wrong outfit to get it. Nah, nah, nah. I got the right outfit on. Dosi and Cabana. <laughs> Belt wearing motherfucker. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> right, gang, man, we wrap stuff up in there, man. With my boy, Lambo plug. Man, gotta be too nice. We got big stun out here with the SRT, man. What you doing with that big ass water bucket and the Alexandra McQueen's on? I see you. You ready for today, huh? <laughs> with the Lambo hat, Lambo shirt, and the <laughs> Alexandra McQueen's. Okay, you finna get down, huh? Stun got the new racing stripe on here. Give that done a touch. This gonna be up for grabs, ain't it? You told yeah, them already? Monday. Monday? Monday, yeah. That's where my end, don't it? Where my end? And Sunday. Oh, okay. So, hey, man. Y'all gonna be able to win Stunner SRTG. Got his custom touch and look on it. Stunner said he gonna get him a track car. So this gonna be on the chopping board for the waffle. My first time. Is it my first time seeing it or a second? I'm not even sure. Got the brown guts. Everything looked the same as the track hawk, man. Just self missing the, in the engine. That's it. All this shit the same. Big roof. I'll be interested. I tried my hardest, guys, to make it through a vlog without <laughs> this guy, but look. <laughs> huh? Y'all favorite person y'all love to hate, man. I'm pulled up on us, Marty Mar. We trying to figure out what we gonna do. We gonna hit some blocks. How much do uh, Bentayga's going? 60, 170. Huh? 160. 160? Damn, so what you come to buy? What you buying, man? What's the, man, I'm going the F8, future car man. out here? F8. Hey, what they want for that F8? Five, two, five. God. Dang. Seize McLaren out here on the ass. How do you like my jeans today, CJ? That has, that's they like my jeans today. Yeah, they fit it. They ain't yeah. back. Yeah, okay, you okay. can't get them. Though. All right, we good then. Hey, man, miles. dress to impress you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck what anybody <laughs> else think. Them nasty. So would the Ferrari dealership even take that for maintenance since y'all selling it? Or they got to bring it here? 
Cause you know how they is. Huh? Yeah, see, I know. See? Hey. Act like I ain't know. Plug. Yeah. That's why I got the name the plug. Tell Dan, give me that. Give me that and I'll give him my hurricane back in 100K. Ooh, man. He gotta go crazy on that trade in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell Dan I'm gonna give him 100K look, look, and look, my, look at his face. my hurricane back. Look at his face. He gotta look out one time. One Let me time, get the Ferrari. Like one time. That way I got two Lamborghinis, McLaren, and a Ferrari. I don't need three. That'd be a hard lineup. Trip. I got a hundred K for y'all. Ain't looking good, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, ass fired, my boy. You almost made it. I don't care about no damn copyright. So they got another orange thing in here with the top down. Man, this the. This the exact same one. That vert nasty. Ain't no room though. Too bad we don't fit, yeah. I know. Oh Martin can. Hey, you wanna tell Dan you got a hundred and Oh tell him. Like He's back there. No, tell him I do. Tell them let's do it. See, we taking something else to Dallas. I make that move. Right. See, I'm taking something I got already. I give them a hundred K. Just give me the title. See, it. they got the title to my hurricane. The hurricane paid for. Yeah. They be slow shipping that shit out. Man, I give them a hundred K in the hurricane Easy. all day. Easy. Big big boy. This that new shit. See, I might do a little bit more. I got enough Lamborghinis. I add this Ferrari to the collection. But like Ooh, I said, it'd be on. hard to get a service though. Really? Yeah. Remember, that's what I just told yeah, yeah, him. Cause yeah. It, yeah. Cause it came from a Lambo dealership. This bitch. Man. This door handle different. Ooh. Would y'all make that trade game? Interior, Look at the peanut disgusting. butter. Interior. Yeah. Interior, nice color. Simple, clean. I just like the way these look. These look nasty. They just so sexy the way they did that. They snapped the front. Yeah, front. He said, no. <laughs> hey, you tried. I tried shit. Just like they try to sell this shit, I gotta shoot my shot. Right. Dan on bullshit, man. Tell Dan he fired. Work a work a deal on that. See what he say. Work me a good try to get me a deal on this. Dan don't even need this, man. Tell him let he me don't get even this. Need it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh is customer. It? Oh, that's why he wouldn't do it. He said the customer wants more than more than. Oh. Uh, he going five hundred k, even. Nope. I got four hundred. It's so crazy. Make it happen. Man, let's slide because it's getting late. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't been able to drive yet. Man, I got bird crap. I don't even know where the hell this bird crap came from. Man, that looks My shit so dirty. No, but the, the carbon fiber looks really good in the sun. It does. I love the orange seatbelts, I love all the Alcatara, like all the little details and mm -hmm. that you don't see on camera. Like Fire. All right, y'all, I'll see you. Bring that slow BMW out tonight, man. No, no it you broke. I'm not going to the city. It broke, bust him out. It broke on him. That's what he's claiming. What? He's yeah, scared, he's guys. Broke. He always talking that BMW stuff. See, a Benz city, wouldn't break on you. That's yeah, the see? Part. A Benz, that made better. That's messed up. Ooh. Yeah, you got yeah, that Benz is going to fucking crash. No. <laughs> nah. <laughs> BMW broke down. Let me explain something to you. You cannot buy this dealership one car at a time. <laughs> I'm trying to. We can cut a deal. I'll give you the whole place. Okay. Okay. And then what? Well, what you gonna do? Retire? I quit. Yeah. No. Okay. No, I'm gonna fire your ass first before you quit. I quit. I'm firing you, you in advance. I'm gonna fire you ahead of time. You fire. So when I come back with that big check, have your shit packed. 
All right, my boy, we're gonna hit you up later, man. About to get the hell out of here. I haven't hit no blocks today. I've been car searching. I've seen both of them, so see, now I'm just up? making my decision. See what 32 Gang right, say. Y'all yeah, see we got back. Marty Squarehead, SpongeBob SquarePants oh, head. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, gang. Sit, man. Gonna get the hell up out of here. Um, hit me a couple blocks. You know what I'm saying? Been a productive day. It's been a long day. You know, I, I don't want to just settle on this. I wouldn't mind having that Ferrari though. You know, I get rid of that hurricane. Hey, see, that Ferrari, that boy nasty. You say it's my wheel. Which one? The, with the big cap, the blue, the Steve. Oh, your wheel. Yeah, when he getting it? He said, when you getting them? And how much? Hold on, gang. Y'all can't this part. He said this week or next week. Let me know how much though. He said, he said, what, what's the ticket? Okay. We ain't done yet. Video ain't over with game. Hey man, what the hell you doing with that boy? You mighty close okay. over there. Got hey. some got some Balenciagas and he feeling himself. Tell him over there. Let me know. Here. I want to see the, the pattern how he got them oh. with they black. Hold on, here you go. We gotta do a little bit of talking, you know what I'm saying? I used to put this rambling shit off in the beginning of the video and it kind of like turned people off away from the video. But um, guys, it's definitely some stuff that I need to address and it needs to be addressed right now, today. Um, okay, so I see Jerry made another video about me and everybody keeps sending it to me, tagging me in it. Listen guys, really don't give a fuck. Last time I talked to Jerry, I told him I'm sorry about his loss. Um, he called me, I didn't answer. Uh, you know what I'm saying, I'm busy. Like I got a lot of shit going on right now. Ain't got nothing but love for the old man. You know, he got the platform. He gotta do his own thing. I'm out here doing my thing. You know, I'm still trying to build myself and get to the next level. Making videos using my name and the title, this shit is annoying, guys. Like, I ain't been nothing but good to this man. All these people talking about, oh, he got this money. He changed, nigga, I been had money. You just knowing about me from YouTube, but I been had money, I been doing my thing. Not to this extent, but I been doing my thing. Money ain't got shit to do with it. It's about, you get tired of, you get tired of trying to let people use you. People always asking for fucking money. I ain't no fucking bank. I get up every day and I work for this shit. And y'all see, y'all see what I do every single day. So it ain't no excuse for somebody that's older than me to not be out here busting their ass doing what I do man you just get tired of everybody trying to depend on you like motherfuckers only call you when they want money in like man I ain't no I got my own kids I got my own fucking bills to take care of can't nobody on YouTube dictate how I move or how the fuck I spend my money or who I should help or what I should do you know I play my part I help a lot of people I help so many people man and a lot of most of that shit 99% of that shit don't even get on YouTube like I, feel, I be feeling like the weight of the world on my shoulder and you got all these motherfuckers on the outside looking in that don't know shit about what they talking about because somebody wanna make a sorrow ass video about some shit. Look, I'm not entitled to help a fucking soul, guys. And you not entitled to watch my videos. Don't get it twisted. I appreciate the ones who do support me and um, who watch the videos. But at the same time, guys, don't just cause you support me, don't think I gotta do something your fucking way because I'm not, as you can see. I've been on this platform finna be five years and I always done shit my way. And I'm always forever do it my way, no matter what you say. I don't I'm not entitled to pay nobody fucking bills or to help nobody. I put them on a platform where they can make money. It's people that y'all wouldn't even know if it wasn't for me. You know? Um, it's people I gave they names, like characters and shit. And you know, I'm happy to do that, but I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to reach new heights. I'm trying to do new shit. It ain't about me. Oh, uh, he think he this or he think he that. No, nigga, I don't think I'm shit. It's just that a lot of y'all got jealous instincts. A lot of you motherfuckers is jealous because I came up and I'm winning. So you going to, whenever somebody makes something bad about me, of course you're going to take your weak ass on their page and try to butter them up and make them feel good. But guess what? At the end of the day, I don't give a fuck because I'm going to still be winning. You know, so you're going to still be salty. Salty as hell. Like, y'all got to get that hate up out y'all system, man. Stop being haters all the fucking time. Y'all don't know the struggles and the shit that I've been through. My mama passed away. Wasn't nobody there for me. Shit, I laid in that bed and cried every night. I still cry. Just like yesterday. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, man, and I got feelings too. Shit, money don't stop. Money don't make you not fucking human. Money don't make you not go through shit and have emotions. Shit, more money 
really more problems you know more problems more hate but you know this is the lifestyle that i signed up for that's why i don't you don't see my kids and shit a lot of shit on the videos because as soon as somebody not around you motherfuckers take it why they not around oh cj got this money now he no nigga i'm separating myself it's called growth i'm finna grow if you're not fucking growing and working as hard as me then i don't want to be around you shit you can hold me back See, that's what a lot of y'all do. Y'all friends ain't doing it, so y'all think it's okay. No, fuck that. Be a leader, not a follower. Don't think, don't never think it's okay to fucking settle. You need to get out here and get it and make it happen. Shit, they bills and your bills is different, you know, or however they surviving ain't the same way you surviving. Like, I, I don't understand some of y'all fucking mindsets, bro. Like, y'all need to get up out of that fucking mentality that somebody owe you something and take advantage of somebody trying to fucking help you and when somebody help you and put you on and if they go their separate ways all you got to do is say thank you they blessed you continue to strive for what that person set you up for and go your fucking way like man bro shit be so annoying i try to keep all this negative shit off my channel guys but it's like people keep reaching 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 y'all know them other motherfuckers i'm never gonna mention them or make a video about them but like i said i don't have a problem with lawsuit jerry but i'm not gonna talk to lawsuit jerry every fucking day and whenever i talk to somebody they're always asking for fucking money man it's annoying like i feel like i'm a money pit motherfuckers always cj can you do this cj can you do that i'm not calling no motherfucking body asking them can they do this can they do that because i know at the end of the day they're not gonna be able to do that shit for me if i if if i ran out of money money right now how many people that i'm around you think i can fucking go ask money for to pay a car note pay a bill or pay my house note Exactly. Anyways, I'm gonna end it right there. That's all you needed. That's all I needed to hear. Nothing. This your boy CJ on 32s checking out with another video. I'm out, man. Gang.